Use your head. Make a the gingerbread. Let's make gingerbread cookies. Let's take it to the stove. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most irritating measurement of butter possible, 12 tablespoons. Now, I guess if you have the two stick kind, this is two sticks in one lump, it leaves you with this really stupid amount of butter. But anyways, take a large saucepan like this one. Put your 12 tablespoons of butter in it. Now I'm just gonna do this with my parousi. You need all the butter. This is a King Arthur flour recipe, of course. Okay, you're gonna melt this. Welcome to Frontier Times. <laughs> King Arthur has a brown sugar keeper that really works. It has a little disc that you soak in, in water and it keeps it just like this. What is light brown sugar? What is dark brown sugar? Newsflash America, it's sugar that's dyed with molasses. It's not pure sugar because it's colored. I'm gonna put three quarters of a cup of brown sugar in with the melting butter. You're supposed to wait, but it doesn't matter. Now we're gonna add the molasses. We're gonna put a little salt. These are like, you know, gingerbread men, stars. You need a cookie cutter. Actually, you don't need a cookie cutter. Here comes the molasses. So is, we've talked about this, is molasses the same as black treacle? Kind of. Is light corn syrup the same as golden syrup? No. Okay, I'm just incorporating this all together. And I'm gonna put some spices in. What spices? Hmm, what's the name of the product? Gingerbread. So I'm gonna put in Yuletide cheer. I love this stuff, man. It's fabulous. You want a lot. And then I'm gonna pump this up with quite a lot of ginger. You know, if you want me to tell you a measurement, I don't know. Basically, you can turn the heat off now. Looks nice, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, this has to cool down for a minute. We're gonna add an egg and then we're gonna add a huge amount of flour. It's King Arthur, so it's probably gonna work, but wow, it's a lot of flour. So let this cool. Don't, until you can put your finger in it comfortably. I can easily hold this, even though I do have mommy hands, but I can hold it, It's meaning it's cooled down. All right, look at that, it's beautiful. I'm gonna crack an egg into it, love. Take an egg, e by gum lad. Don't be afraid. Now, if this goes in and the white turns white, you have to start again because it means uh, that you cooked the egg. So I'm actually gonna do this for a second with this spoon and then I'm gonna switch to a whisk. All right, I'm incorporating that. Now, this takes a huge amount of flour, which I was a little bit nervous about last night. Uh, it has a teaspoon of powder. Remember, I don't know the scientific thing, but uh, someday I will. One teaspoon of poudre <laughs> and half a teaspoon of soda. Now, uh, just to reiterate, it's holiday, so I'm gonna reiterate. You cannot use the baking soda that's been opened in your refrigerator. It's, de it's deoxygenated and you can't use it. You have to keep your baking uh, soda in a sealed jar. And if it's been there for more than eight months, you have to renew it. It's not gonna work. That's why your stuff isn't rising. Okay, here's your mixture. I am gonna do this because last night I did it all in here, which was pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, which is why the Magic of Television one has huge areas of unmixed in product because I tried to mix it in here. I'm gonna just pour this into a separate bowl. Now, the gingerbread that you see on Great British is, is different. That's the one for building houses and stuff. This is a cookie. It will not build a house. That's a huge amount of flour. This should be really amusing. <laughs> so we'll start really low. 
So I'm not using the stand mixer because this is small enough and tactile and interesting uh, enough to do with the hand mixer. It works fine with the hand mixer. They tell you don't be tempted to put any more flour in. I don't know what the recipe means by that. Don't be tempted to put any more liquid in is what I would say. This is a dough. How do I know? I know it's a dough and I'll show you so you know it's a bro. <laughs> this is a dough. How do I know? I know it's a dough. So I'll show you so you can know it's a dough, bro. Okay, here we go. It's a dough, how do I know? Because when I, my hands are clean, when I pick it up and do that, it turns into a, a dough. So what I'm gonna, you know, a, a moldable dough. I'm gonna put some, up. Uh, what do you call it? Saran wrap here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is form this into a rough rectangle. Let's take about half of this. Okay. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, that's what I call really rough rectangle. Now, I'm gonna fold it. It's gonna go to sleep in the fridge. I'll tell you why. Smooth the edges the same way we do with the pastry because it should look nice while it's resting. You never know who's gonna call on it. Okay, here we go. Beautiful, gingerbread. Next one, please, thank you. Foldy woldy. Put in the coldy coldy. <laughs> Smooth it. Make it look nice. It wants to feel good while it's resting. No one knows who will drop by. Perhaps those look fantastic. Um, you, wanna, you want to cool these for an hour because if you rolled it now, things would go wrong. I don't know how to explain it. Like it would fall apart slightly then take it out so it's not rock solid and uh, roll it out and cut your shapes. Come on, gingerbread, let's go to the fridge for a resting time. Magic of television, bing. Now these were mixed um, last night. I mean, I was sober, but they don't look right to me, but we'll see, here we go. Now before I put any um, flour down, I wanna see how easily it rolls and comes up. So remember, don't panic, George. The more you roll it, the more it's gonna roll. Just a little bit, because it's quite dry. The warmer it gets, the easier it's gonna be. Can push the edges together. It means it hasn't rested out of the fridge long enough, but we'll see. Incidentally, Washington Square got published. I also run a theater company, and uh, we had a production of an of a adaptation I wrote of Henry James' Washington Square. Um, you may know it as The Heiress with Montgomery Clift and Olivia de Havilland. And we had a fantastic run, and uh, kind of sold out, and then they published it. It's very exciting. Yes. Okay, here we go. Use pre-cut parchment paper. Uh, you can buy it on Amazon in big fat envelopes or you can get, if you care, pre-cut parchment sheets. Let's use the traditional man, the loam, as they say in French. This is Mr. G. Inger Bered. Here we go. Cutting out the guy. Blindness. It's great when they're smudged with dough and stuff. Let's see. Seems a bit thick for a cookie, but we're gonna try it. Look at the little guy, so cute. These are nice cutters. Um, what I'm doing is I'm pressing down, that, this is a thick one, and moving it a little bit like that before I take it off. Come on, little feller. Come on, little feller, you must come, little feller. Come on, little feller, you must come. Oh my God, it's so cute. All right, gentlemen, stars, stars. 350 oven, here we go. 
In you go. I don't know how long. I'll do it by look. Eight minutes? We'll see. Do you want to decorate some cookies? Or would you prefer just to eat them? When I kiss her, she presses her face on me. It's Christmas cookie time. It's your first Christmas here. Let's see what happens. So these cookies were in for about 10 minutes and they came out rather nice. Personally, I would eat them like this, but uh, we're gonna play with this white cookie icing from the big, big company, Wilton. But this is a little artificially, but it's, we're just gonna play with it. I'm just gonna do one. You can make icing using confectioner sugar and lemon juice with a little bit of thyme, according to Regina, very fancy. Um, but you can make icing that way and just paint, you know, with a, or use a little squeeze bottle. But Lynn got this and it's fun, so I think I'm gonna use it. Okay, here we go. I, I, you see my problem? See that? That's nah, much better. All right, now here we go. He likes to look well, he likes to look well dressed. So this um, icing hardens, but so will your icing if you make it with a confectioner sugar and lemon and apparently thyme. I don't like Christmas time. Ah, now it, that's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> instead of being sad, do something instead. Go ahead and make it the gingerbread. I know it's a dough, and I'll show you so, you know it's a bro.